you will enjoy this review by Like It's 1985. This I command Cobra! Arise, Serpentor, arise. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is my review of DC Universe Classics Copperhead. And there are two reasons why I picked up this particular figure. The number one reason is I got him for basically half price because I found him at TJ Maxx marked down to $6.99, whereas if you go in a retail store, it's going to be around $15. So I was really happy to find him for, for that cheap. The second reason I decided to pick him up is because he reminds me a lot of the iconic Cobra villain, Serpentor. And I could really imagine somebody, perhaps, who is a good painter, repainting this with the, you know, G.I. Joe 1980s color-accurate Serpentor colors. It, you know, he doesn't have exactly the molding necessary for a realistic Serpentor, but, you know, you can, you can make it kind of a neat custom. So, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the figure up close. And uh, we'll take a look at the head sculpt first, and let me talk about the head sculpt. I like the uh, snake head headdress, that's really nice. And you can see some, like, almost like these are the tendons that attach the upper and lower jaw. So that's a really nice detail right there. You can kind of make out some lines. Now, to the actual facial expression. He looks, instead of, instead of being like an evil... Well, he does look evil, but instead of just looking evil, he looks kind of like he's insane. And, uh... So yeah, I mean, there's something to be desired with the head sculpt, I think, the way that they sculpted the actual face. What's cool, though, I think, is you can make out he does have a bit of fangs. I don't know if that's going to show up quite well, but there are sort of an indication that there might be little, like little fangs uh, on his actual teeth. So that's kind of cool. And let's take a look at the figure itself in more detail. Uh, so you've got this nice uh, scaled effect here with this uh, uh, somewhat lighter orange color. And then you've got the actual suit or costume, which is, has a lot of uh, minute detail. Take a look at the back here. Uh, he's got, looks to be some, even some shading here in the uh, areas of his back which is kind of cool. You can see there. Um, nothing too fantastic or remarkable about the you know the pelvic area. And again you got some more of the scale effect uh, on his legs and some plain old green boots. Uh, in the way of articulation, head can go around 360. Um, ball hinged uh, shoulders, you can see there. Swivel at the bicep although it's really tight it does have a joint there a hinge joint at the uh, at the elbow and a swivel at the wrist you've got the ab articulation as so you can see there uh, of course you got waist articulation and you've got the standard DC Universe Classics hips you can see there's a joint there like that and the leg can go out like that forward uh, back just a little bit uh, swivel above the knee right there, um, a hinge joint or bend at the knee, and finally articulation at the ankle. So pretty much I would say standard DC Universe Classics articulation. Now his accessories, uh, he does come with parts of a Build-A-Figure which is dark side and let me put him to the background here he will stand up you get the head for dark side which is really kinda cool which I'm not planning on buying the other figures to collect the pieces to build him but I do have a head and I do have a <laughs> uh, I have a crotch look everybody it's the amazing crotch um, but yeah you can see the the upper torso will connect here. You got the legs uh, connecting here. Now, um, 
really, I'm just, uh, like I said before in my other reviews, I just pick out what I like. I don't necessarily uh, like every figure in the wave. Here's the figures you collect uh, to get the pieces to build Dark Side. Um, I just pick out what I like uh, and forget about the rest. In this case, I picked up Copperhead because he was cheap. And if I found these other guys cheap, why not? I would pick them up. But for $15 full price, nah, no. Um, I like kind of like Iron here, though. He's Design-wise, he looks pretty cool. So if I found him cheap, I would pick him up as well. Uh, quick look at the uh, bio here. You can pause the video at this point and read if you'd like. And first appearance information, real name, base of operations, and special abilities. So yeah. Um, so yeah, this is just a look at the DC Universe Classics Copperhead. Do I recommend you pick him up? Eh. You know, if not for fifteen dollars. Um, I'm not that crazy about him. But for the six ninety nine price, and here is the price tag right there for six ninety nine. Why not? All right. Well, thanks for watching. This has been my review of DC Universe Classics. Copperhead. And for my next DC Universe Classic review, I will be reviewing Dark Side with a crotch for a body. Someone help! Put me out of my misery! For goodness sakes, I have a crotch for a body! Ah!